I'm Dr. Katherine Albrecht, privacy expert and also one of the people who helped to create the Start Page search engine. In light of everything we've learned about the NSA and all the spying they've been doing on all of our web searches, it's more important now than ever to begin switching away from Yahoo or Bing or Google, whatever search engine you might be using that's spying on you, and instead switch to the world's most private search engine, startpage.com. So I'm going to talk to you today about how to add Startpage to your browser and how to make it your home page so you can get more Startpage and less Big Brother. Here we go. So if you're like most people, when you turn on your browser, whether it's Firefox, Internet Explorer, or Safari, you're probably looking at a screen that looks a lot like this. Google is set as the home page on most people's browsers, and we can change that. So let me tell you how you do it. First thing you want to do is from your Google window, go ahead and type in Start Page. Doesn't matter, upper or lower case, doesn't matter. We'll just type it in and hit Enter. And you see now that I've got the Start Page web search right there at the top, startpage.com. And now I'm on the Start Page homepage. But if I close the browser and reopen it, it's going to go back to Google. So let's see how I can switch so that when I first open my browser, the homepage is actually Start Page. So if you look underneath the search window, this is the search window just like Google. You can search right there. And underneath, see where it says Set as Homepage? Go ahead and click that. And what it's going to do is take you to this page, get more start page, make start page your home page. So every time you open your browser, it defaults to start page. And you'll see right here, it says click here to make this your home page. So we'll click that. And that brings up a set of instructions. Now, depending on which browser you're using, these instructions may vary. But I'm going to show you the instructions for Firefox, which is what we have right now. So I'm going to scoot this over to give myself a little room. And now let me follow the instructions. To set your home page in Firefox, click on the Firefox menu. Now that is up here in this upper left hand corner. Now it says select preferences. We'll pick that. And now it says click on the general tab. See it's right there at the beginning. We click that and it takes us to this page. This is the startup options page so that every time when you start Firefox, this tells Firefox what to do. So it says start up here. When Firefox starts, show my home page. That's good. And now you see that the home page is set to Google. Now on your browser, it may be set to something else. Whatever it is, it's the thing you first see when you open your browser. Now we're going to follow our instructions here. Click on the General tab. We did that. Delete existing address in the home page box and replace it with this. Now I can either, well, I can't, I think I can just type that in. So what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to select Google highlight it, hit the delete key on your keyboard so it goes away. That's just a placeholder there. And now I'm going to type www.startpage.com. Double check, make sure you spelled it right. And if you did, hit enter. And you just changed your home page to start page. So now I go up. I'm done with this window of instructions. Close that. And I'm done with this page too. Close this. And now you can test it by going over here to the little house button, the home page button. And when I click that, it takes me to start page. Now every time I close Firefox and reopen it, or Internet Explorer, whatever my browser is, the first thing I'll see when I get there is start page. So that's a great start, setting it as your home page. Now let me show you something else. Let's say that you're on a different page on the internet and you want to do a quick search. Well, you'll notice up here in the top right hand corner of your browser, there's a pull down menu of options for various searches. Let's pull that down and see what's available. It defaults to Google. Google actually pays to be up there. So when you pull it down, you could change that default to Yahoo by just clicking it. Or you could change it to Bing by just clicking it. The only problem with that is we know that Google, Yahoo, and Bing are three of the nine companies that were involved in the NSA PRISM spying program. So by searching through Bing, Yahoo, Google, any of those search engines, you're potentially sending a copy of your search and all the things that you look for, not only to that company which stores it, but also to the NSA. And if you're concerned about that for privacy reasons like I am, let's see how we can change it so that that's not the option up there. So I'm going to come down here again, right where I saw set as home page, but this time I'm going to do add to Firefox. And when I click that, it takes me to another page, get more start page. 
add start page to your browser. This tells me how I can make it so that start page is one of those pull down choices up there. Now I have two choices, HTTPS, that little S means secure or encrypted, or HTTP, which is not secure and not encrypted. And I strongly recommend that you go with the encrypted version. So we'll go ahead and click install. And that pops up this little window, add start page HTTPS, in other words, the secure encrypted connection to the list of engines available in the search bar. And I do want to do that. I want to start using it right away. And now I'm going to click add. And now notice what happened in this corner. Start page is now my default. So no matter where I go on the internet, I can always do a quick start page search without having to go all the way back to the start page homepage. I can still go back to the home page here, and I can still perform a search, or I can type my search up here now. So now let's do a search. Let's look up InfoWars. So what start page just instantly did was took the, the question InfoWars, or took the search term InfoWars, submitted it to Google from our servers, not from the servers here, got the answers from Google, stripped out any tracking cookies, and then served them to you completely privately. And now you can click on one of these links. When you do, you'll be leaving Start Page and just regularly surfing the internet. So let's do that. We'll click on InfoWars. So I head on over to the InfoWars website. And now if we want to perform a search from here, we can go up into this corner and do a search. So let's say I'm looking here and I'm interested in, oh, let's find one, the TSA. So let's look up the TSA. I'm going to come up here to start page HTTPS in the corner, that little search box that's in your browser, and I'm going to type in TSA. There we go. Now, when I get the TSA, let's find which one is the actual transportation secure. There we go. There's the .gov version right here, TSA.gov. Now, there's a really cool feature that start page offers and XQuick offers that no other search engine has, and you're going to love this. So if I were to click on that Transportation Security Administration link, I would be going directly to a government website. And it is possible that when I got to that government website, in fact, it's not possible, it's the case, that they would then see my IP address, they could read tracking cookies or place tracking cookies on my browser, and for some of the seamier areas of the internet, they also could have malware, spyware, other things on them. So I can either click directly, leaving Start Pages Protection, and go to the TSA website, or what I could do is click this link and view it through the proxy. So watch what happens. I'm going to click it regular. Now I'm on the TSA. They just put cookies on my browser. They just noted my IP address. They know who I am, where I'm coming in from, and maybe that's not so great. So let's go back and see what I could have done instead for this particular website. Right underneath the link, do you see where it says view by XQuick proxy? Well, that says open the search result anonymously. Now, it's a little slower, and I'm going to click it. Let me tell you what happens now. So I'm going to click this link. And now Start Page is going to the TSA server, grabbing the information from the TSA, putting it on a Start Page server, and then I'm now connecting to Start Page. So the TSA only sees a Start Page server. They don't know who you are. If they tried to put a cookie on your browser, it, it, they couldn't because they're not connecting with your browser directly. We're serving as an intermediary or a filter between you and, and the TSA. And once you're on this page, you can go ahead and click Links. And as long as you see up at the top this blue window that says Start Page Proxy, you're in complete privacy. No one can see you. Your ISP itself, whether you have Verizon or Comcast or whatever company uh, provides you with your internet service, normally they get a copy of all your browsing. They get to see every website you go to. But when you're searching through Start Pages Proxy, even they don't see it. They just see an encrypted bunch of gob gobbledygook. So if you spend an hour on Start Page searching with the proxy, your ISP would not know where you went. The websites that you visit wouldn't know who you were or who had been on their website. You would pick up no tracking cookies, no malware or spyware. And at the end, when, when you then leave our website, all records of your visit would be deleted from our servers as well. So not only does Start Page let you search anonymously and privately, it even lets you view sensitive websites through a proxy so that even the websites don't see you. So let me just show you. On the TSA website, let's say I want to look at, oh, I don't know, about TSA. 
I can click here and notice start page is going over to the TSA and loading the page for you. So sometimes this will be a little bit slower because we've got to get all of their information. And if this is either Flash or um, JavaScript or something that actually wants to directly interact with your browser, we've determined that that's actually a potential security risk. So we block certain things. So I wouldn't use the proxy every day. I don't use it all the time. I only use it when there's something, for example, um, when I was searching for information about cancer and I wanted to go to um, the National Institutes of Health website. I don't want to connect with them and mention cancer. The whole world's going to know that. So instead, I used the start page proxy. I was able to load that information privately and view it, and then when I was done, to know that no record had been made of my search. All right, so we're viewing the, the TSA page through start page's proxy. TSA doesn't see us, and start page makes no record of my having been here. My ISP can't see it. No one can eavesdrop on the connection, so if someone were maybe a hacker, a Wi-Fi hacker, you're in a coffee shop and they try to, tra to access the stream to see what you're doing, they wouldn't be able to say anything but encrypted cobbledygook. So now, I'm going to go back up here, click my home page link, and I'm right back to start page. Ready to search, incomplete, and total privacy. So this is why we call startpage.com the world's most private search engine. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show.